Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm reviewing the Sky Me Automatic Pat Feeder. Uh, Sky Me also has a dog treat dispenser with a camera on it um, if you're not looking for a feeder but you want just an automatic treat dispenser. Um, and I've done a full product review. You can see that on our website, topdogtips.com. But today I have their new automatic feeder, and this is timed and customizable uh, so that you can feed your dog on whatever schedule you'd like. If you're away from home or you have a dog that overeats, uh, if you have a dog, like for example, one dog that needs uh, a special diet and they have to eat at certain times of the day. So you can control it remotely with a free app. The app is free for Android and iOS devices. You can see that uh, I'm using the app right now. When I push the button to dispense food, you can do it manually or you can set it for a certain time. I've, I'm doing it manually just so you can see. Um, I'll do it here in a second and you'll hear the SkyMe device barks. Uh, to get your dog's attention and then dispenses the food. So this is our Beagle Molly and our Boxer Puppy Thor and they are uh, both trying to get the food. Now I'm dispensing in very small portions. Uh, these are actually the smallest portions that you can do on here. Uh, there's many different settings from what um, the first portion is about 10 grams um, and then it goes all the way up to uh, uh, feeding a portion, sorry, of about 300 grams, uh, which is a lot of food. So you can do small dogs, large dogs, uh, whatever you need. If you want to break your dog's food into small portions throughout the day or just feed a couple of times a day, um, it works. And I'm also uh, really impressed with the amount of food that it feeds. It, it holds about two gallons of food. Um, the top, there's these little squeeze buttons that you pinch together to remove the top so your dog can't just get into it. Um, and there's a big basin here that you can fill with food. Um, and then again, you have to squeeze that and it kind of locks that down in there so your dog can't just paw it open if he's home by himself and wants to get in. Now I'll try to show you the app as steady as I can and I apologize that my hands aren't extremely steady. Uh, but this is the app, obviously right now you can see Molly's little nose in there um, and it's showing you my camera setup because I'm, I'm taking this video. Uh, but when you wanna feed, this is a manual feeding, you touch the little bone and then you can just scroll through to the size of the feeding that you want and when you hit okay, It will dispense the food and you can watch your dog eat. Um, there are, and of course, manual feeding. Um, you can take photos, you can take videos and share those on social media. You can hear, if you press this, what's going on in your home. Um, and then with the microphone here, if you hold this, you can send your dog uh, a little recorded audio message. The only thing that I don't like about this is that the speaker isn't as loud as I would like it. Um, you can hear it when it barks when you feed your dog a little bit. Um, and this is what it sounds like. Hi, pups. What are you doing? So you can hear it. You know, it's just, it's not super loud. Um, other automatic feeders or treat dispensers have a louder camera and I like that it gets your dog's attention um, obviously Thor wants some more food so I'm going to them again and like I said you can hear that bark it, it's not very you know super loud if your dog's in the same room as the camera he's probably gonna hear it no problem um, but if he's not then uh, he may not be alerted if he's in a different room, but um, it, it is what it is. I do have the volume all the way up. Speaking of that, um, we can go into the settings for your camera. So here are the your feeding times, um, and these are set, obviously mine are set right now for every day, but you could shut them off if you want to, to keep some and create, and um change others, you can create a feeding plan and change it to whatever time you want. You can set the portions uh, to be different at each feeding, whatever you wanna do. Uh, you got feeding records, you can select if you want notifications on your phone. Um, there's the volume right there and you can see mine's at 100% um, and that is as loud as it goes. You can set the night vision, 
pet information, um, all your settings in there. It, the, the app, I'm really happy to say, is very uh, user-friendly, very simple to use. So if you're somebody like me that isn't super tech savvy, uh, it, it's still very simple to use. You do get the 1080p HD camera. Um, as I mentioned, it has night vision. You can see that uh, it's in real time. It is a very clear picture. There's a small lag, only about a second, um, which is great for one of these cameras. Some of them, it's, it's more like four or five seconds. So the camera's really good. It's got a 130 degree wide angle lens with four times zoom. So, uh, you know, obviously right now you're, you're not looking at anything special, just my camera equipment, but, um, it would be beneficial if you have a dog that you want to check on, um, for one reason or another throughout the day. Molly now thinks the food's just going to keep coming. So she's patiently waiting um, so again, I mentioned the two-way microphone. You do have the option to take photos and videos to share with your family or friends. And actually, you can have up to eight people that can access this feeder at one time. So if you have other family members that want to download the app, you guys can all do it at the same time, um, up to eight of you, which is more than most similar products. You do get an alert for low food, um, as well as movement if uh, there's something going on in your home you know, your dogs are moving around, they're barking, uh, you can get a notification on your cell phone or uh, tablet, wherever you have the app, uh, to alert you to that. There's also, um, if underneath the feeder, underneath the bottom of the feeder, you can put some batteries in. Uh, if I can get the dogs out of here, you can see under here, um, it takes 3D batteries, which um, it is obviously quite a lot, but those that's just a battery backup. So if for some reason the power goes out, you still uh, wouldn't have to worry about your dog not being fed. Battery backup's really important on an automatic feeder if you have a dog that needs to eat on a schedule um, or you're away from home a lot. So, uh, and, they, and they all don't have that, but it is a definitely a feature you wanna look for. So there's that. Um, that's also, this is where it plugs in and it plugs into the wall most of the time, but if for some reason you lose power, you have the battery backup and then the on-off switch right there. Um, the speakers down here too, which I think is one of the reasons maybe why it's not super loud because it projects towards the floor. Um, so I think it would be nicer if the speaker was out here, but uh, that is what it is. Your dogs can still hear it, so it's not a deal breaker. This is the tray, it's magnetic. So it's really easy to just pull it off and clean it, but it also holds uh, firmly on there as well. Um, the device itself, I think, aside from the speaker, like I mentioned, is, is really well built, very um, conveniently designed. So you can uh, use that battery backup if needed. There's also uh, a rubber ceiling ring and a double scale design, which keeps the food fresh. And that is uh, up here, as I mentioned, you just pinch those and you can see the rubber seal in there um, and it keeps the food fresh for you. If you're feeding your dog every day, multiple meals a day, it's probably not gonna stay in the feeder for very long, um, but you could certainly store enough food in there for a couple of weeks without it going bad. Um, so the price, that's what everybody always wants to know. Obviously with technological devices, they're always a little bit pricey um, and this one is $149.99 on Amazon right now. As far as automatic feeders go, especially automatic feeders with the features like this, um, actually I think it's a really good price. There are automatic feeders that sell uh, for upwards of two and three hundred dollars and don't have all the features of this one. So as far as a value for the money goes, um, I, I think it's a great value for the money, but of course, you know, an automatic feeder isn't gonna fit into everybody's budget. So um, if you have any questions on the SkyMe automatic pet feeder, feel free to email me. And thanks for tuning into this video review.